Hey everybody, this is Brad Hall of Intuit Canada's business development team. A few of you have commented to me that when you run reports, they don't show debit and credit columns. Uh, the most common type of report that I hear this about is the GL report. So for example here, I've just run a general ledger for this month to date for my sample company and we see there's an amount column but there's not the debit and credit column. And I certainly remember when I was going through accounting training, all reports show the debit and credit. And I know that uh, that is a preferred way of looking at reports for a lot of accountants and bookkeepers. So I'm gonna show you how you can very quickly and easily customize this report or any report to show the debits and credits rather than just the amount. So we're in this GL report I go up to the customize button and click on that and you'll see there's quite a few different options for customizing the report but what you want to click on is change columns and that will bring up a list of the available columns that you can have in the report as well as the columns that are currently selected to display in that particular report. Now we'll see on the left side that indeed credit and debit are two options that can be part of this report. So I'm just going to select credit, click on the add button, select debit, click on the add button, and we see that debit and credit are now showing in the selected columns that will display in the report. Now all we have to do is put these into the right spot in the report and you do that by using these change order buttons over here. So I'm moving debit and credit. And the last thing I want to do is get rid of the amount because it's going to obviously be covered off by the debit and credit. So I clicked on amount and clicked remove. So now we're showing debit, credit and balance. So if I click on OK and run this report, Voila, c'est ça. We have debit and credit columns showing in the way that you like to see them. So the last thing to do is to save this custom report. So make sure that all of the columns are the way that you want them, that the transaction date range is the way that you want to see it, and then click on Save Customizations. The system will ask you to name this report. So I'm going to call this General Ledger Month to Date with Debit and Credit. I click on OK and I have now saved that custom report. So when I go to my Reports section and click on the My Custom Reports tab, you see we have General Ledger Month to Date with Debit and Credit. I click on that report and boom, there we go. I've just recreated it that quickly. I hope that helps to answer those questions on how to get debits and credits into your reports. Good luck with your continued use of QuickBooks Online and thanks very much for watching.